हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन एंड मॉड्यूलर्स ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी फॉर दैट यर वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन ए बार 500 हंड्रेड एम लॉन्ग एंड 22 टू एम एम इन डायमीटर इज इलांगेटेड बाय वन पॉइंट टू एम एम एंड द एक्शल पुल इज ऑफ वन जीरो फाइव किलो न्यूटन कैलकुलेट द इंटेंसिटीज ऑफ स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन एंड मॉड्यूलर्स ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ द बार दिस इज द क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट एवर इज देर इन द क्वेश्चन वी विल राइट दैट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डेटा लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड Now it is given a bar is 500 mm long and 22 mm in diameter. I'll draw the diagram for the same. Here I have drawn a bar or a rod whose length is 500 mm and diameter is if I look at this cross section Here, this diameter is twenty-two mm. So, the bar having length and diameters is elongated by one point two mm. This elongation means that here over this bar, there would be a pull type of load. That is why there is elongation. So here. p indicates the pull type of load on the bar and elongation is given as 1.2 mm so here elongation is denoted by delta l that is 1.2 mm and the axial pull is of 105 kilo newton value of p is given 105 into 10 raised to 3 newton calculate the intensities of stress the first question is to calculate the value of stress second strain and third we have to calculate the modulus of elasticity of the bar capital e so this is the question in front of us whatever was given here we had written that in the form of data now let us try to get the solution to this problem now in the solution as the first question is stress so i'll say that since stress is given by the formula is sigma is equal to p upon a so this is the relation now when we look into this question p is given as 105 into 10 raised to 3 newton and area we can get it from the diameter diameter is 22 mm so here i'll write down this stress sigma will be equal to p is 105 into 10 raised to 3 newton area it is pi by 4 into diameter which is 22 square and from this i'll get my first answer of stress and that answer is 276.22 newton per mm square this is the first answer next they are saying us to calculate strain so after stress i'll write down now since strain is given by the formula is strain is equal to change in length upon original length so here i'll put the values change in length is given in the problem it is 1.2 that is the deflection and length is 500 so from this i will get strain 
it comes out to be 2.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 and strain won't have any units it is a dimensionless quantity next after getting strain the third part is modulus of elasticity so I can say that since modulus of elasticity is given by modulus of elasticity we can get it from Hooke's law in Hooke's law it was modulus of elasticity was equal to stress upon strain so here I'll put the values therefore Young's modulus is equal to stress is 276.22 our answer number 1 strain 2.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 so from this I will get capital E Young's modulus my answer is it comes out to be 115091.67 Newton per mm square so this is the answer of Young's modulus or you can say modulus of elasticity so if I write the answers at the end here we have got stress as 276.22 Newton per mm square answer number one strain 2.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 second answer and Young's modulus 115091.67 Newton per mm square so here we have completed the problem that is we have calculated whatever values that was unknown.